previously on Camchilla. What you cooking? Don't tell me. I'll come and taste it. <laughs> Our house boss, Mr. SDK, says we are doing a rice challenge. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want to try a little bit. Oh, yeah. Trust me, I'm amazed at the things that they're really doing. Food is ready, and I'm seeing over 20 people in the house. Social media influencers say, hello, who invited you? No, who called you? Day three, I'm making wache oats with ideal milk. Hold on, it's not scary. Hey, JC, where's your mind? What are you making for breakfast? For breakfast, I'm making a creamy condo pudding. It's, uh, it's our regular condo cocoa, but then with a different twist. This time, instead of using a water base, you're going to use the ideal milk as the base to make the, 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 the cocoa. I'm making creamy funio porridge. Um, funio is actually an ancient grain. Funio has been in existence for a long while. Um, a lot of people don't seem to know what green funio is so i think i'm using this opportunity to tell people or show people what funio is and what it actually looks like i'm making um, milky raisins rice pudding with ideal milk actually yeah it's uh, our normal rice water. But with this one, with more ideal milk twist to it. It's the third day. Uh, I'm making breakfast today. I'm making a vanilla kondu porridge. Um, the trick here is I realize kondu with milk kind of has a slight earthy ice cream vibe to it. But cooking the kondu porridge before you add the milk makes it watery. So I've decided to cook my porridge in the milk. Okay, so for my ideal breakfast, I will be making um, pancakes. That is stuffed with some tuna and vegetables. I chose that recipe because I realized most of them are doing like porridge recipes and there's lots of breakfast recipes you can explore with milk. So I decided to do the, the savory pancake. That's another name for the tuna star pancake. So the whole idea is just regular oats that you eat at home, but you're going to use the sorghum leaves used in making wachi. I always tell you that my dishes are things you can find at home, in your pantry, in, the, in your local market, basic, basic stuff, but then elevating it to look like a classy dish, right? So we are just going to use the liquid from the sorghum to make the to change the color of the oats, add in some fruits, and then top it off with some other fruits. And then of course, it's made with ideal milk. It is going to come out really, really creamy and very thick, yeah. Fonio is very Ghanaian. It is mostly grown in the northern part of the country and it's a delicious cereal. So you can actually make it into a porridge, you can actually make it into rice, you could actually make it into rice balls. 
you could, or let me say, four new balls. Ideal milk in four new takes it to another level. And I've decided to add vanilla, fresh vanilla beans, because it gives a very subtle ice cream vibe to the entire porridge, but it still sticks to what it's supposed to be, which is a traditional breakfast. And then I'll garnish that with some blueberries and bananas. The bananas add a little more um, weight to the breakfast and the blueberries add an extra acidic vibe or acidic element which helps cut through all the creamy richness of the breakfast which is the creamy vanilla corn dough porridge. Ideal milk always brings back memories of my childhood, chefs. What are some of your fondest memories of Ideal milk? Cooking with Ideal milk this morning brings back so many childhood memories. It brings back memories of Saturday mornings. We had all sorts of breakfast at home. We had our older siblings trying to not go or not give us too much of the ideal milk and they'll keep it to themselves because it was so delicious, it was so good. And it brings back so many childhood memories and these childhood memories I cherish so much. Growing up, ideal milk was a very prevalent part of the ingredients for breakfast. But I personally am a savory breakfast person. I like my beans and wache and other stuff. So I would only drink ideal milk because nothing, like no other milk tastes like evaporated milk. And ideal milk was the one we had at home. But my most embarrassing moment was when I sneaked into the kitchen. And I don't know if anyone else does this, but there's this thing where we, the milk is open in the kitchen and you take a little swig and then just pretend as if you haven't touched it. Take just enough so that it doesn't change the weight of what the milk was initially, but then you've had your taste. And a lot, a little of it spilled onto my black t-shirt, but I didn't realize. So when I was going back to my room, my mom saw me and was like, oh, what's that white thing on your shirt? And because I wasn't expecting it, I, I didn't have a light prepared. You can imagine what happened after, because why are you stealing milk at this young age? It became a whole beating, so I stopped stealing milk, or at least that's what they thought. Whenever I use I do, I get this memory of me when I was a child. I'm sure you can all relate. When you use milk or when you buy milk, you can't pour the whole thing or like you have to pour it. You, you, you have to take a small spoon and measure it. I don't know about you, but my house, you have to do that. So when everybody is sleeping, I just I just loved the taste of I do milk. I'll just sneak to the, the fridge and I'll just be taking it sip by sip. So one day I was just doing my thing, you know, my dad walked in and I was very shy of my dad when I was a child, right? So my dad just walked in on me and it's not like I was even picking it up because I could have made an excuse. It was, he was here, so I couldn't say anything. I was just looking at him, he was looking at me. I was so, so embarrassed and from then, I didn't stop, but I was more careful. <laughs> you know when we open a tin of milk and it doesn't get finished that day? Our parents would just tear a bit of the ideal milk paper and then cover the opened part. 
and place them in their fridge. But by tomorrow morning or the next day, it's gone. Yes, so the people are still covering the open, <laughs> the open part. So that's why I do that. I send all of us into tips during our childhood. And then aside that, the tin or the can, we most of the times turn into a car. So me, I own my first car with Idomok at a very young age. So that's why I don't look there. My friend Jago car. <laughs> so my most memorable moment with idle milk growing up, which my mom always tells me is, I, I used to wake up at uh, 12 in the at dawn to go and knock on her door and say, mommy, 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 I want to drink my tea. It was a thing. So I used to wake up at 12 every time to, to, to go call her to come do her tea. And then one day she warned me that <laughs> She's leaving the milk, the ideal milk, on the, the, the table and the hot water. So anytime I wake up and I need to drink tea, I should go make it myself. Very interesting ideal milk memories. I'm sure we all can relate. I think three of us ended up making very similar breakfast, which just goes to show that um, ideal milk does play a very big role in the, um, breakfasts for most of us in a particular way. I realize most of us either use it in teas, or like hot chocolate or a kind of porridge. But I was pretty in, um, intrigued by what Chef Lifestyle did with her breakfast. She made a kind of oats and paired it with different kinds of fruits, which means as you are eating, I mean, I added blueberries to mine, which gave one acidic element, but she added different fruits, which means you had essentially different breakfasts in the same breakfast. So outside of it being four different fruits, it comes to a layer where you can now combine different foods so that even increases the permutation of the number of things you can be eating at the same time. I found that particularly interesting and it's something I'm potentially going to use for a breakfast later on. And oh, I like what I'm seeing on the table. That's so not our everyday breakfast. Looks yummy. Have you actually met kings before? I mean, foodies that are kings. We do not do much. All we have to do is just sleep and then wait for the wake up call. Green, 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 green. Breakfast is ready, please. And then you see SDK and I coming down. Oh, yes. This one is cream, corn dough pudding. Okay. Mm. Easy. 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 Watch it out. Um, can I have that? I'm not going to do that. SDK, stop. Jesus. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. Do we, do we eat this with a spoon or we drink it? It looks like. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't know what this is, but I don't know what this is, but it's giving me rich guy, rich guy. Rich rich <laughs> This is cream for me. Creamy thing. Creamy for me the phone here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Creamy condo pudding. Pudding. Pu pudding. Pudding. Pardon. Pudding. Pardon. Pudding. Pardon. I said it's pudding. Pardon. Okay, let's try it. Huh. No, we'll mess it up. It's nice. It's my Hmm. Hmm? No, this one's a few cocoa, like the modernized one. I can taste the ideal milk. Ground nuts. Like, ah! Hold on. And I love this, you know, because you have to Hmm? Ah! Milky, Milky raisins, raisins, rice, pudding. 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 Pardon. Pudding. Pardon. 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 Pardon.
cinnamon. It's called cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's good. Cinnamon. For, it's good for the tin. It's good for what? The tin. What tin? What tin? <laughs> that tin. <laughs> you like it? Mm. Hold on. This is know? rice water. I prefer full on rice water. Mm. Now we need to try this one. Mi meals in between. Yeah, that's for meals. Milky raisins, rice pudding. Yes, and now we're going to try the wache oats. Give me bits of everything. It's honey, a friend. More milk, more milk. So this morning we woke up to a very large, you know, large buffalo and baba. Hold on. We woke up to, we know, we didn't wake up to. We came down to see a table full of goodness. Goodness, when I say goodness, I mean something creamy, something milky. So Ideal Milk decided to give us, you know, all the love in the world. They said this morning, yeah, all you have to do is just prepare breakfast. Use Ideal Milk. Ah, from rice water to cochli to fonio. To <laughs> the names will bust your brain. Fonio, cochli. Um, rice pudding, um, pancakes, uh, uh, pancakes filled with um, tuna, and then um, the wache oats. The, hey! <laughs> the wache oats. See, let me explain the wache oats to you. I'm not supposed to be doing that, but like, do you know how the wache oats looks like? If you do not know, please visit my Instagram page. I posted a video in there. I'm sure you're going to celebrate because it's like, ah. Uh, Breakfast today, I loved everything. Everybody gave it a 20 over 10. It was just perfect. I'm really not a breakfast person, but the fact that the milk was so creamy, the food tasted good, every single thing that was made with ideal milk tasted so, so, so good. And I was just in love with it. And today, it was just SDK and I. Even the chefs didn't even get to eat some. Watch out, Ah. Great. Amen. Hi, papi. So your lips are shaking? Yeah, we have ever had that. <laughs> <laughs> Red oats. There's no red oats, so she used the wacha habai. I don't know how to put that, but like, yeah, that's what she used. It's called scrafis. Huh? Scrafis. Scrafis. Yeah. Wacha habai, friend is scrafis. Scra who? So, not it. Wesley, go Google it. And don't fall for SDK's scrafix. I don't think so, but yeah. So, she used scrafix. Yeah. That's how she gained that color. What else? The, this one is good. I'm actually not a breakfast person, but the whole idea of adding the ideal milk and you know making, making it, it extra. Yes. Making it extra. Because it tastes really say, creamy. Say, extra. Say, making say, it extra. Yeah, with exactly. Ideal with ideal milk. Yeah. yeah. But it's Thank good. Thank you very much. I'm so, uh, this is great. Thanks to all the chefs that did this great meal. Uh, thanks to all of JC. I'm a body one. Chef lifestyle, lifestyle, meals in between, in between, and a kitchen indeed far away. Yeah, kitchen far. What, what's kitchen far away too? This is it. That's the one you just had with the strawberry, food, yes. Food looks far away. In, it yes, looks, yes. It looks like we're made far, far away. A free chi chi no She came late. More, more milk. More. more Milk. More. We get it, foodies. Don't finish up our ideal milk. Some Gary Sokinfi Piloter. 
Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm the main man behind the demon in Nongo for Kong. Meet me, Didi. I'm a dog for one because I see a friend of mine didn't like Fufu, but me did Fufu more than Fufu. And ever since, he's been a Fufu lover. Jimmy D. Next on Cam Cho. So we're going to have a one minute challenge. We just want to see who is fast, who is sharp. I was just crying. Honestly, I found it pretty hilarious. It took them four hours to prepare in the How? I like wet noodles. Mmm. You are not my friend. <laughs> the bestie that just denied me in front of Chef Lifestyle. Let's, no. let's, let's back up here. That's supposed to be doing social media. Mm -hmm. I can see your age. I'm taking pictures. I'm social media right now. Yeah. I wanna. I will never forget you. Yeah, I wanna. Forget you. <laughs> forget me. Ah. Yes. I think we're supposed to make a love. That's a. That's a. Thank you. 